we are back with another vlog i think i'm gonna do a vlog once a month so like every month i'll just put in a random vlog somewhere here on my channel i have quite a bit of few things to do today and some things that i wanted to share it has been quite a long week since thanksgiving i have just been feeling extremely exhausted and all i want to do is just sleep all fucking day so before we start this vlog off don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoy these kind of videos and don't forget to hit that subscribe button also don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when i upload my videos and of course my disclaimer if you are super sensitive to profanity or you're easily offended this is definitely not the place for you because i am a no filter bitch and i have no idea what's gonna come out of this potty mouth <laughs> so keep that in mind while you're watching on thanksgiving or Black Friday, I should say. I made a pretty big purchase thanks to my husband. I have an early Christmas present that arrived today. And like I said, this entire week, I have been kind of just really out of it, not feeling very well. But today when this arrived, I got super fucking excited because I just am, because it's, it's one of those things. When you're an adult, you get excited about these things. So without further ado, let me show you guys my new toy. Here it is in all its glory. We have a Dyson 11. I am so excited about this thing, you guys. I was able to get this for almost 300 dollars off i was eyeballing this for the longest time hoping it would go on sale for black friday and it did and i am thoroughly just i cannot wait to use this thing i read reviews for almost a week trying to decide if i was going to get a dyson or a different type of handheld vacuum and this one just exceeded my expectations reading all the reviews and plus i have a really good like return warranty so I'm really happy about this. The other thing that I really like about this is the DLS technology. So basically, if you are going from hard floor like this to carpet, it senses it itself and changes the mode of vacuum or suction. So basically, if you're on hardwood, it's going to change the suction to hardwood style type. And then if you touch the carpet, it automatically changes the mode to carpet mode. So it has higher suction. The older Dysons do not have the DSL technology where it can sense what kind of surface you're on. I am so excited because it has eight different attachments and I am just, I'm so thrilled. Like I thank my husband so much for this because it is a very early Christmas gift and I just, oh, I fucking love it. It looks so good. And there it even says intelligently adapts power to drive dirt from carpets and capture fine dust from hard floors. So I'm going to go ahead and get this baby out of its box. And then we are going to see just how well this guy performs. So I have both the vacuums nice and set up here. The Dyson just finished uh, charging. So I'm really excited to use it. This is our shark vacuum that we've had since 2016, I believe. It is a good vacuum. For some reason, this is actually not sucking up the cat litter anymore. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's like the suction just isn't good anymore. So first I'm gonna vacuum with the shark and show you guys just how much it picks up and then I'm going to use the Dyson to see if I can pick up any more um, remnants of trash and <laughs> fur and litter and all that good stuff. So let's get this started. This is a little gross, but as you can see, it picks up dander. This is all dander. There's litter in there, hair, there's pine needles. There's all kinds of gunk in here. So this does pick up quite a bit of like the dander and all the stuff that I want a vacuum to pick up. For some reason, it comes, it becomes shorthanded when it comes to the litter. I don't know why. It just does not want to suck up litter anymore. So after using the shark, I went over with the Dyson to see if it can pick up any more extras. Look at that. That is how much the Dyson picked up. So that means this is all stuff that my normal vacuum could not get. Now it's a little disturbing because that means there's this much left in my carpets and my hardwood floors 
whenever I vacuum with the shark vacuum. So this to me is crazy because look at that. Like that's so gross. And that's actually quite a bit for me. I feel like the Dyson picked up almost the same amount as the shark did, except this is after the shark vacuum. So that to me is just a little kind of, you know, disturbing. There's a lot more dander and sand and stuff. And this one has a lot more dust and fur. The Dyson definitely sucks up a lot more. It looks like it's more powerful, obviously, than the Shark vacuum. Now, the one thing that I don't really like about the Dyson is that you do have to hold the power button down while you're vacuuming, which is this little red guy here. It's not really that heavy. It's very maneuverable. I just feel like I may get a blisty from holding the red button down so much. But this is just, to me, like a really, really big difference so I know that I'm going to love the Dyson because it just picks up so much more it's actually a lot more quiet than I expected I thought this thing was going to be extremely loud this one is actually very very quiet it's a lot more quiet than my shark vacuum which is extremely loud the dogs hate it um but I don't think they're gonna like this vacuum anymore because it is a vacuum but I think this is gonna be my new best friend and I cannot wait to vacuum all the time using this thing. And I'm so excited about this. I have to thank my husband for this because this is my early Christmas present. And I am so happy with this. I'm so thrilled. Oh, hi, y'all. AKA good morning. Or I should actually say good afternoon because it's like almost 1.30 p.m. <laughs> it's almost the end of 2020, you guys, and it's Christmas week. I just want to relax because I feel like I've just been going and going. Lots of present buying and just getting shit done, and every single time I go to the stores, it feels so exhausting because there's just so many people in there, and whenever there's a lot of people in the stores, it makes my anxiety go up, so it's very exhausting when I come home because I'm just like, Ugh, I just want to die. <laughs> But anyways, um, I'm going to take you guys through my, like, not morning routine, but, like, how I get ready to leave the house because we're all, again, still wearing masks. I actually only do, like, this part and up of my face because the mask hides everything else. But I'll be sharing with you guys, like, the products and stuff I use and the stuff that I've been using, like, continuously. Two days ago, I went and got these micro dart patches these are the mighty patches from hero i absolutely love these these are my favorite they have the tiny little micro needles so when you actually uh press this into your skin you can kind of feel a little bit of the pricklies it's not painful or anything but it kind of like penetrates the first layer of your skin to really get in there with this guy right here i could feel it underneath it's one of those pimpies that are like really hard and underneath the surface and I use these micro darts to bring them to the surface. Like you can actually see the little dot in there. And two days ago, you could not see it because it wasn't to the surface yet. You could just feel it underneath the skin. This guy right here actually happened because I had a white head. It's one of those ones that are deep. And I got a little too aggressive with my face. So I just have the Riel Miracle Patch on. Now these are just hydrocolloid patches. And for me, I use hydrocolloid patches for a lot of things. If I pick at my skin too much and I'm bleeding and that part of the skin or that part of my face needs to heal, I'll slap on a hydrocolloid patch. So right now I have a hydrocolloid patch right here because it's very raw. It hurts. It's very dry. There's a layer of skin missing. I just, I just went completely ham on my face. So that's why I have this and I will be changing this out and keeping it on for the rest of the day. I've also been using the Vegamore hair serum every single day since I put that video out. And of course, I still can't really feel a difference, but I wanted to touch on the fact that I definitely feel like the hair serum is going to work because after a couple of days, I want to say by like the third day, I was actually feeling like slight tingly in the areas where I put the serum and to me as long as it's not burning it's fine and the tingly feeling just made me think like oh my god like it's you know um getting all the blood circulation going and making my uh you know hair follicle or roots or whatever these are called uh probably start to work a little harder to get the hair going uh I don't really know, <laughs> know the fucking terms but Anyways, first I'm going to eat and get something in this belly and then I'll take you guys through my really, really short ass routine 
for me to just kind of fix my face a little bit and get my ass out the door. So I'm gonna go do that real quick and then I'll see you guys back here shortly. I apologize for the noise. I have the uh, fan on in the bathroom, but I already went ahead and washed my face and moisturized and all that good stuff on my skincare. To prep my face for leaving the house, I always use sunscreen. Again, I don't care if it's summertime, fall, winter, spring, you always need to be wearing the sunscreen. And this is my favorite. This is the Purito Centella Green Level Safe Sun. And this is supposed to have 50 SPF. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face. Now it has a white cast because I put it on a little thick but this will go away. Now that I have my sunscreen nice and blended, I'm gonna do my brows. I've actually been using the brow blade from Urban Decay and I absolutely love this little liner pen, especially for the brow hairs. And I really like to use that uh, pen on the front ends of my brow. And then the pencil that this comes with, I like to fill in the rest of my brows. So I got my brows did. Now is the rest of my face. I've actually been using this continuously because it's so simple to do my face like this. And it just gives me enough coverage to where it hides a little bit of my imperfections, like my redness, like this guy here and this guy. And I just love it. This is the Bite Change Maker Flexible coverage pressed powder and this is in the shade light one I like to use the mini puff that it came with and I am just going to apply this basically on my forehead in between the brows and on the sides here and then I'm gonna go in underneath my eyes and on my nose because these are the only things that are showing and protruding from the mask anyway so right now my face is doing really really good because I haven't been putting on a lot of makeup underneath my mask and I've noticed that ever since I started doing that I'm not breaking out as much with those really deep inner pimpies along the jawline and so I really like this method because it's very light it's very quick and I'm still wearing makeup. It's simple, it's easy, and it gives slight coverage to where my skin actually looks decent. My camera just kind of like stopped working uh, mid uh, mascara. So basically after the powder, I add mascara and that's it. Normally I add a little bit of shimmer to my lids by just taking my finger and some kind of shimmer shadow. But I have a little bit of rawness on my eyes because I was using the, uh, what is this guy? The halo, the face halo. And to take off a mascara that I was wearing yesterday, I rubbed a little too hard. So it's very raw, like right underneath here and right on the top of my eyelid. So today I'm not gonna be wearing any eyeshadow. I'm actually wearing the new Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay that I mentioned in my recent shopping haul. It came with the eyeliner and this is my first time using it. So I'm a little scared because I'm hoping that it doesn't transfer to the tops of my eyes or to the bottom. And so far so good. I really, really love the way that it lengthened my lashes, but it kind of weighed down the curls. But again, I'm still looking for that one mascara that holds a curl, makes them nice and lengthy, and also stays put all day. And the only one that I've been able to find that can do that is the waterproof one from Milani. This is basically all I've been doing to leave the house, and then I'm gonna fix my hair. I'm gonna get uh, changed because I'm just <laughs> in pajama clothing. And yeah, so I like to keep it nice, simple, very easy. I'll throw on some chapstick because my lips be feeling a little crusty but I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and run my errands and then I'll see you guys when I get back so this is what my husband got me for my early Christmas present and it is just so beautiful I know some people are like what the hell is this you may not know but this is actually a record player this is something that I have always wanted but never really asked for because it's just I don't know I don't know why I just didn't ask for it but it is so freaking beautiful I love the uh, color that my husband chose I really like this like light finish wood and I love how like modern but still antique it looks like especially this uh what, what do you even call these the radio knob <laughs> it is just absolutely beautiful let me show you guys the inside here 
Let's see if I can get that. So here is the turntable where you set the record. And I really like this because you can play the big records as well as the smaller records. I love the fact that um, it lights up and it's not like blue or like some weird LED color. I like that it fits kind of like the aesthetic of the record player. Now with this, you can turn um, the knob here to pick your radio station. And you can also not only do radio, but you can do Bluetooth. And if you turn it to Bluetooth, this little button here kind of starts uh, looking for a Bluetooth connection. Then you have auxiliary, which I believe is uh, like plugging in your phone or um, like iPad if you have the auxiliary cable. And then of course, Phono is to play the uh, record side of this. So I just love this so much because it has so many features, like so many different things you can use it for. And it just looks so good. Like I just love it so much and I'm so happy about it. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. So I want to share with you guys the records that my husband got me. Here are the records that my husband got me. Of course, he got me the Beatles Abbey Road. This is one of my favorite um albums i guess you could say records and then he got me the magical mystery tour this is just oh it's so freaking awesome look at that this is by the uh beatles by the way and then of course i have my bub marley and the whalers this is oh, i just love this so much i love this record um sleeve because it actually has like kind of the history of what's going on like or what went down with bob marley and i think it's so neat and here are all of the songs there are two records in here and of course with records you can uh, flip them over and then this is the guardians of the galaxy basically the soundtrack now i am not someone who really likes soundtracks from movies because a lot of them don't really have great soundtracks but i absolutely love the guardians of the galaxy one because there are just so many great songs on here we have david bowie the runaways marvin gay like i just genuinely love the soundtrack for this movie i'm so happy you guys and so i cannot wait to build this record collection. Before I close the video out, I wanted to share with you guys what I recently got. I picked this up yesterday. This is the KVD Vegan Beauty Edge of Reality Fully Recyclable eyeshadow palette now the reason why i wanted to include this in the video is because it is on sale right now now i believe this retails for 40 something dollars and it is on sale for 30 dollars and then on top of that you can add a 20 percent coupon that is going to be in your coupon tab and you can get this for as low as 24 dollars i'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette in next week's video because i want to do a new year's eve look which i usually do every year if you guys are interested in the edge of reality palette from kvd vegan beauty i advise now is the time to get it because again you can get it as low as 24 dollars. i believe sephora is also doing the same sale and theirs is probably going to last most likely until saturday later this week and the ulta beauty one i believe lasts at least until the 24th at least that's what i got on my coupon like it expires on the 24th so if you have a chance to get to ulta or sephora I definitely recommend getting this especially if you've been eyeballing it because it's probably the cheapest that it'll ever be so that is the end of this vlog I hope everybody has a very very Merry Christmas and happy holidays please 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 stay safe I hope to see you guys in my next video and if you enjoyed this one don't forget to hit that subscribe button also don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when I upload my videos and as always if you have any tips tricks questions comments or if you simply want to talk shit leave it on the comment section below and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.